Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. Um, I heard Tyreek Nasheed talking about this, and I was sent the video by a couple of other people, you know, in regards to some people, you know, getting at Bruno Mars saying he's a culture vulture. Now, uh, keep in mind, Bruno Mars uh, recently won uh, a few Grammy Awards for his album 24 Karat Magic, if I'm not mistaken. I think that received album of the year. Now, a lot of people have said, hey, well, Bruno Mars shouldn't have won. He's a culture vulture and all this type of shit. Now, here's my honest assessment about Bruno Mars. I'm not going to really go in on Bruno Mars because, one, I don't know enough about Bruno Mars and I don't follow Bruno Mars like that. But I will say this much. I did happen to hear that 24 uh, Carat Magic uh, album. I didn't buy it, but I did like the material he had. Bruno Mars had some good material on that album, and I had no problem with him winning the album of the year. One thing you can say about Bruno Mars, at least Bruno Mars don't do interviews like uh, fake ass Takashi 69 where he always uses an N word like it's going out of style. Bruno Mars has said on several occasions that black people invented every type of music there is. He's always paid homage to black people. He never came across as a culture vulture to meet like guys like Justin Timberfake, Justin Bieber, you know, guys like Robin Thicke, you know, those type of dudes. Now, Robin Thicke, um, Robin Thicke seemed like he an okay person, but Justin Timberlake I really started to peep him because Justin Timberlake was another dude who got a little too comfortable hanging around black people and it got to the point to where he was trying to sneak this, you know, legendary black artist. And I'm sorry. You know, one, you're you're not that good to begin with. But Justin Timberlake got a little too comfortable. Now, Robin Thicke, what got him in trouble, Robin Thicke was warned by Marvin Gaye's family on several occasions to stop emulating uh, Marvin Gaye's style and shit and trying to seem like him and shit but Robert Thicke did say Marvin Gaye was one of his favorite singers but Marvin Gaye's family just didn't take too kindly to that and they had warned him and then when he made the Blurred Line song that was pretty much it Marvin Gaye's family went after him they sued him and for real um, and they won six million dollars they won the lawsuit, you know. Now, whether he paid them or not, that's, you know what I'm saying, I don't know. But Marvin Gaye's family did sue Robin Thicke. Now, Justin Bieber, I don't like Justin Bieber at all. One, because of the shit that he said, you know, when he was young. And then I, I just don't like him. I've never liked him. I think he, uh, I think he's a bitch. But yeah, as far as Bruno Mars go, uh, I just don't know if he's a culture vulture or not. But at the same time, I have to call out the black community on their inconsistency with who they go after and who they give a pass to. Now, all of a sudden, you heard people say, well, I don't think Judd Timberlake is a culture vulture. Or I don't think Robin Thicke is Judd Bieber. But then all of a sudden, you want to attack Bruno Mars. But Bruno Mars is more blacker than... And, then Justin Timberfake and, and Robin Robin Thicke and, and Justin Bieber and those type of dudes, you know, Bruno Mars isn't isn't technically black, but he isn't white. Neither Bruno Mars is mixed with everything. From what they say, he's mixed with Puerto Rican, Filipino, all that shit. But I still don't consider Bruno Mars a black artist. But when you've heard Bruno Mars talk, Bruno Mars, uh, you know, he talks with intelligence. He carries himself very well. You know, and his videos have got b billions, not with a, not with a, with an M, with a B, billions of views on YouTube that don't believe me just watch got like 32 billion views. That's absurd. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just absurd for a video to get that many views, you know? So I don't have a problem with Bruno Mars. It's sort of like what happened with Tina Marie. Tina 
and Marie just had what you call, she truly had a black card, a black pass, because Tina Marie came out R&B, stayed R&B, and she passed away R&B. Tina Marie could have went pop on several occasions, but she chose to stick to her roots, which was R&B. And one thing I think a lot of people liked about Tina Marie, Tina Marie, when she did interviews, she let people know, hey, I'm not black, but I love this music. Unlike some of these people that try to you know, come with the, it's like Tyreek Nasheed said, that yo, yo, yo shit, man, nobody ain't feeling that bullshit, and ain't nobody trying to hear that crap, because when you come across talking all that yo, 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 and all that shit, it just come across as fake, and I, I just don't take you serious, you know, I, I, I just can't take you serious, I think you being a fucking fraud, man, so, yeah, that's, you know, that's why people like Tina Marie got, you know, what you call a, a, a hood pass. And I'm going to tell you something else. I got to be completely honest about Tina Marie also. Another reason why I think people was okay with Tina Marie staying R&B because let's just be completely honest. Tina Marie wasn't exactly what you call super fine. You know, Tina Marie was mediocre looking at best but I understand people in the black community trying to be protective of R&B because we have had a lot of culture vultures come through you know people like Pink and you know fake ass Mark Wahlberg you know who was you know yo 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 and then but if you mention him being a rapper he look at you like he ready to fight you because we have had some culture vultures come through. Madonna, another one that capitalized on the black community. Then when she started acting, she totally abandoned the black community. But she used to love that black dick, though. That's what Madonna is documented for loving black dick. You know, yeah, she was with Warren Moon. But then, you know, she had Dennis Rodman, Tupac. Uh, they said Leon knocked her shit down. A couple of other people. So, I'm just saying. So, I understand where black people come with the culture vulture shit, but what I'm saying is you got to show some consistency. You give Justin Bieber and Timberlake a pass and, and Robin Thicke and all those type of dudes, but then you want to get on Bruno Mars. Like I said, I'll put it to you this way. Bruno Mars put effort into his album, and his album sounded a lot better than a lot of bullshit that was out. And I'm sorry, a lot of these so-called black R&B singers wasn't bringing, bringing shit to the table. They wasn't bringing it. Just like a lot of these, these rappers don't be bringing it. As far as rap go, rap is, a lot of this rap that's out is, is just plain fucking garbage. It, it, I'm sorry, it don't matter what color they is. The black rappers are whack and the white rappers are whack. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a little bit different than what I, I'm used to because like I said a lot of these dudes that that's coming out now they wouldn't wouldn't have even last it to be honest with you especially a lot of these fake black acting rappers you know what I'm saying real talk now we had our share of wigger rappers you know I'm gonna do a video about that one day maybe I'll, I'll do it soon but as far as the guys like I just named, yeah, they're culture vultures. They fake as fuck. They really are. But as far as Bruno Mars go, until I see different, I'm not going to call that dude a culture vulture. Bruno Mars just put out some good shit. And that's just the bottom line. Step your game up. These black R&B singers need to, they need to listen to the old school shit. Even in the 90s, you still had variety. Jade didn't sound like SWB. SWB didn't sound like Jade. And Jade didn't sound like Escape. Escape didn't sound like, you know, and so on and so on. They still had different sounds. But this shit now, I mean, it all sound the same. What's the use of buying an album or a CD when you pretty much 
gonna get the ta- same. Uh, excuse me, the same type of shit. It's just gonna be a different artist. But this shit just sound the same, and that's just the bottom line. And you young motherfuckers can get mad all you want. I give a fuck about y'all saying we hate no y'all. Y'all just ain't st- y'all just ain't bringing it. Sometimes to get to the future, you have to go back to the past. And I think a lot of these artists need to listen to a lot of these ar- artists from the '90s and in the late '80s, because like I said, all these these rappers sound the same. Music sound the same, you know. Basically, rap is about a hook. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I mean, for real, the hook sound better than the actual fucking song, and I think something seriously wrong with that. But yeah, I just wanted to give my take on the whole Bruno Mars thing. Let me know what you guys think, man. I'm out.